and I found out we actually had permission to ride the world's fastest dark room down Bloody Lane. I was I was blown away. It was a very solemn, very uh, humbling feeling to be in that same position and setting my camera in the same place that they had set their camera to take those famous photographs of the dead in Antietam. Hey, my good friend Tom Clements. How you doing, man? I'm well, sir. It's good great to see, to see you, here. you again. It's been a while. It's been so long. And what a day to be here at Second yeah. Road. Hey, how Bobby are you? Deal here. Bobby Deal. Bobby, nice to meet nice you, Tom. To meet you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've heard so much about the Bloody Lane, and it's it's such an integral part of the Battle of Antietam. What exactly happened here, and what was and, the big? Uh, they're going to take some tremendous casualties. Marr himself goes down, injured. His horse fell on him. As you approach the scene, you do as you you do with any photographic assignment. You're looking at lighting. You're trying to figure out uh, your composition, your exposure time, you know, thinking about the chemistry, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, and many times they do go wrong, so you're going through that checklist in your head. Looking into that Graflex camera and actually seeing it with my own eyes, that lane, that bloody lane, it was just breathtaking in that I'm seeing it through my own eyes, but knowing what happened there is, is so horrible. I mean, Mike, just Zero. the view from here is breathtaking. <laughs> is it? When you look, at, you got to look at I this. Gotta you got to see this graph. Okay, I'm good here. You want to set up some bodies? And then when we started placing those individuals farther, as those bodies, a little bit farther. Okay. There was part of this that wasn't that unfamiliar to me. Okay, here we go. Very still. Gardner and Gibson, when he took when they took those photographs and they put those. Very precious, very fragile glass plates in their wagon back to their Washington, D.C. Uh, studio. You know, you couldn't okay, help but be move. humbled by it. And you got to remember that these were dead Americans, whether they were from this north or from the south. They were all brothers. This is time travel. We are 150 years ago. Look at how barren everything looked. I mean, you look at a Civil War landscape, it looks like a surface of the moon. I mean, if you had enough people to really prop oh, it out... Sure. And look at the like the tree. You don't even yeah, see the buds on the tree. The... You see the stark. I mean, it really looks way more desolate. Yeah. Being on those roads throughout the back roads of Maryland were really just so special. 